let's look at a few problems that are going to illustrate the sort of questions you want to be able to answer with regards to continuity. So we're going to analyze this function here, and it'll also test our uh, ability to graph it too, since I'm kind of just have a blank screen here. We've got this function. Uh, it's a rational function, and the first thing we want to do when we want to graph this is we're going to factor. So the top is x minus 5, and the bottom it looks like it factors to x minus 5 and uh, x plus 3. And you'll notice that the x minus 5 terms cancel, and so we're left with 1 over x plus 3. And so we know, of course, that this graph uh, has a, a hole. It has a hole uh, at 5, comma, and when I plug 5 into the result here, I get 1 eighth. So there's where the hole is, and we know there's a vertical asymptote at x equals negative 3. And so based on that, we can look at the we can look at the graph and let's see what we can say about it. So I got my vertical asymptote here at negative 3. And I've got a hole at 5. 5, 1 eighth, so like roughly there. Um, the y-intercept, if you plug in 0, is a third, so I can note that. So that's like roughly here. And that sort of indicates what this graph is doing. So in red, I'll put the graph. It's actually doing something like this. So there's my function. There's f. And so what can we say about it? We can say that f of x looks like it has a discontinuity at negative 3. So f of x has and we're going to describe what type has an infinite and it has another discontinuity at 5 and that's a removable one because if we just plugged in that hole it would be continuous at 5. Alright, so there's one example of just a, a way we can analyze a function for discontinuities. The next example is nice because it's, uh, it deals with piecewise functions, which are great, uh, great tools for exploring continuity. So let's look at this example here. I got another rational function, f of x equals x squared minus x minus 6 over x minus 3. And we have to describe where it's discontinuous. So let's see. I'm going to factor the top, and when you do that, you get x minus 3 times x plus 2. Divide that by your x minus 3 there. we see that those cancel, and what we're left with is just x plus 2. Okay, so without even graphing it, what type of disc, uh, where is it discontinuous? Well, it's definitely con dis discontinuous at, uh, at x equals 3, right? I just, I found out that there was a hole at 3, so that must mean there's a discontinuity there, for sure. And what type? Well, holes are, are, uh, always going to be removable discontinuities because if you just fill in that hole the problem is solved and you now have an unbroken graph so this is a removable discontinuity now what we often like to do sometimes is if it's removable we actually like to remove it we like to fix the function and so that's what this g of x over here is going to be doing okay this is going to fix 
the discontinuity. It's like a new function that's basically uh, discontinuity. It's like a new function that's basically the same as f of x, almost exactly the same. The only thing is we want to try to fix that problem. We want to remove that discontinuity. We want to fill in the hole. And so what this is asking is it's saying, okay, g of x is going to be defined like this. It's x squared minus x minus 6 over x minus 3. In other words, it's, it's f of x above. Everywhere except at x equals 3. So this time I think we actually will graph it. We're going to actually graph it. Now, what does this look like? Well, we did just analyze it up here, right? We just factored it. It's just x plus 2, which is a line, but it has a hole at 3. So graphing x plus 2, well, that's just a line with y-intercept 2 and a slope of 1. So right, so when I plug in 1, I get 3. When I plug in 2, I get 4. When I plug in 3, I get 5. But of course, because this is the original function here, we know there's really a hole at 5. So there's where the hole is. So this is the graph. That's the graph of f of x. All right. So the question is, so g of x is, is this, this graph. It's f of x only when x is not equal to 3. When x is equal to 3, we need to know what should a be here that will make g of x continuous. And this question is actually remarkably easy, the way, the way it's being presented right now. Um, the, the, it's really just asking what, what value of it should a be that will fill in this hole right here. What will fill in that hole? Well, it's pretty obvious that as long as our a is a 5, if we let a be a 5, if a is 5 at x equals 3, then that will fill in the hole. So we just want a to be 5. All right, so there's an example of uh, fixing a discontinuity by doing what's called like extending the function or amending the function. All right, We take a function that has a discontinuity and then we, we make it a piecewise. We, we make a new function that, it, that is a piecewise and it's, it's the same as the old one with the hole fixed or the removable discontinuity filled in.